so this had to happen. Right in the middle of me in the process of moving, I got boxes right here. I'm getting, I'm getting ready to fucking move, and then something big had to happen in Smash Brothers news. Now, once again, like I'm going to reiterate, like I said in the description, in the title, there are potential leaks, potential spoilers here, and the thing that makes these even more disturbing is that there's a lot of evidence that what we are about to go through is real. Now, you may have seen this before, you may not have, but it involves a character. Now, spoilers, you know, I let you have your warning. <coughs> I have a cold man. This is crazy. Fucking Rayman! Fucking Rayman! <laughs> now here's the thing, right? There were Rayman. There was a Rayman trophy in Smash Brothers Wii U, um, and everyone was like, okay, you know, it's kind of weird that Ubisoft, you know, inserted Rayman as a trophy into the game. But you know, I mean, it, it didn't really mean anything because you know, obviously, he wasn't in the game. But now we have some more information that's suggesting Rayman. Oh, this is Rayman as an amiibo. It kind of doesn't make any sense. But I mean. There's apparently some really compelling evidence out there that Rayman is going to be in Smash Brothers. Now, of course, this is 4chan we're dealing with. These leaks were revealed on 4chan, and as much as you may think that 4chan is, you know, reputable for bullshit, let's not forget the summer of 2014 leaks where the whole roster was revealed and we didn't even know it at that point, and it all was revealed on 4chan. So you can't necessarily count out this website just because it is 4chan. These leaks could potentially be real, but let's look through what they are exactly. We're going to move up. Actually, no, I have them right here. So these are on Imgur right now, and you'll see that right now the first leak that we have here is Rayman, but another notable thing with this is that Mewtwo is also in the image. The thing that makes this really compelling is the fact that that Mewtwo render doesn't exist anywhere, or no one can find where it came from, at least. 4chan, of course, as you know, 4chan is going through this, and these guys are some of the biggest critiques you'll find on the internet, along with NeoGaf and Reddit. And, um, you can't find that Mewtwo render anywhere, so you know, we have to search through render. Um, let me see, fake and gay, he was planned, playable at one time, probably. The fact that Ubisoft had a full 3D render prepared hints at it, and they had to include clones to make up for cut characters, but he was cut due to Ubisoft's fuckery. That could potentially be a reason why Rayman wasn't initially playable, but of course, with the DLC thing, one thing that everyone's been saying in this thread is how, why is it taking so long for Mewtwo to come out as a character? If Mewtwo was the only thing that Nintendo was working on, then why so long, you know what I mean? I, I understand it takes a lot of work to make a character, but Mewtwo... <laughs> I mean, Smash Brothers, for the most part, in Smash Wii U, the characters came out with their pre, with their old moves, you know? So, I mean, all the old characters that existed in the other Smash games had their old moves with them. So the fact that Mewtwo is taking so long to create makes you wonder if he really is the only thing that's coming, or if it'll be other characters as well, too, like, you know, Lucas and uh, Wolf and other ones. But this Rayman render, the thing that's really disturbing about it is the fact that this render, even though it looks pretty similar to the Rayman Trophy, which is actually here, I have this um, opened up as well too. The Rayman Trophy in Smash Wii U right now looks like this. And as you can see here, the Rayman Trophy has his fingers, well his hand open on both sides. But the render here has like one hand pointing and the other one like thumbs up at himself. So this is what raises some concern because now it's like, okay. Clearly, you know, it's somewhat of the same pose, but you can't just say that they took the trophy render and made that the character select if it was a faker that did this. This render right here for the Smash Wii U trophy and this render are totally different. This render right here is 100% original. And of course, like we've said before, we're not saying that no one can make completely original renders. We're not saying that that cannot happen. But this looks a little bit too real to me. You cannot deny the fact that where, even if this was fake, it was done immaculately. There seems to be nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Man, I have a really bad cold. I fucked my throat up. And that Mewtwo render, the Mewtwo render, even though it's different from the render that we saw in the um, 50 Fact Extravaganza, it's still 100% original. You can't find that Mewtwo render anywhere. And that's what's gotten a lot of people with their jimmies rustled about this whole thing. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. This is another image that was released, and this image actually raises some concern for me because, like, here, here we go. We have more analysis right here. Um, this is more looking at the render for Rayman. Um, and now here's the thing, right? Even though the Rayman renders seem like they are similar, but they're not. The issue with this one is the fact that. You know, his hands are detached from his body, so they could easily have maybe gotten like a different, um, they could have easily maybe gotten different fist parts. Wait, where the hell is that picture I have? Wait, no, that's not it. 
Um, I must have opened something else. Oh wait, yeah, but um, here's the thing, you know, since Rayman's body is kind of separate from each other, I mean, his limbs are detached, they could have very easily just gotten some different hands from a different render of him and just inserted those in there. That's how easy you're able to do this because, you know, Rayman's body parts aren't attached. So the body could be a different render, the head could be a different render, and the hands could be different renders for all we know. And that's a very plausible theory. So that's what makes this whole Rayman thing kind of tricky because it's a lot easier, I guess, to fake a Rayman render that's completely original than it is for other renders of characters where you can't necessarily fake a certain part of their body because it's all attached. You'll see the immediate difference if one limb attached to their body is a different render from another. You know what I mean? <coughs> Man, I'm fucked up right now. But um, let's look a little bit more at this. Like I said, this render you can see clearly that this isn't the same render as this because the teeth are totally different and one thing about this that makes my concern rise up a little bit is just how far away his head is from his body I mean normally his head is that distance away but it just looks a little strange in the um, character select screen right here but once again it's just little things at this point now I'm not going to say for a fact that this is fake because we can't forget the summer of 2014 that kind of stuff kind of makes me say you know what this is very viable. Rayman is already in Smash Brothers Wii U as a trophy, so the likelihood of him appearing as a DLC character, as an add-on character, it's likely. I mean, as much as people want to deny this and point out little things that they think makes it fake, so far, let's be real here. I mean, looking at this from a very reasonable point of view, there isn't really much that determines that this is fake. Even that this image that tried to disprove it, I mean, is showing that the character names bleed into the images, the portraits of the characters a little bit. And like this could very well make it fake as well too. Like you see, you see what we're talking about here. So as you can see here, um, Sonic's, the S kind of like moves up into the image a little bit. And um, there's certain little discrepancies here that kind of add a bit of mystique to it, a bit of uh, fake to it. You know, L look at it. Like why, why for example, does the border stop at his finger? It could very well be because the fingers copied and pasted. As much as I would like Rayman to be in the game, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't really mind Rayman too much, and I'm not speaking from a, you know, a miseducated point of view. Rayman is actually one of my favorite franchises from when I was a child. I had Rayman 2, The Great Escape for the Sega Dreamcast. Awesome game, man, and I know it came out for the PS2 at one point as well, but Rayman Escape for the Sega Dreamcast was an amazing game, and to be honest, even though that was one of the only games I really played with Rayman, that was one of the best Rayman games, if not the best Rayman game ever made in terms of sales and whatnot reception. It was a great game. And even though he didn't really talk much in that game, but you know, Rayman, he's a cool guy in my opinion. I think it'll be great and he fits the Smash roster perfectly. So is it real or not? I'm going to sit at 50-50 right now. We do need to see more, but as of now, these renders are really clean. But like I said, there's a problem that I have with this render right here. And the, the main issue is the fact that that render, the rest of the screen for it says something that throws me off. I want to see if I can find a full-sized image. There we go. So here's the render that bothers me. This render disturbs me because it says simply, Rayman joins the battle. But where would the screen pop up in Smash Wii U? If this is a true certified leak in Smash, then where would the screen pop up for any of the characters? And plus, if this was a real leak, then how come we don't see more images of Mewtwo being shown to us? As much as I want to lose my shit and say that this is 100% real, this image bothers me because also, Rayman joins the battle. Not a witty, you know, one-liner that Sakurai did for everybody else who was a newcomer in the game. Rayman just simply joins the battle. And the font here isn't exactly, I mean, even though it's close to how it looked for most of the splatter text that he used for introducing new characters, it doesn't seem like it fits the bill 100%. It looks too flat. Sakurai always kind of had them turned. But once, once again, we have learned multiple times that you cannot, you cannot judge the authenticity of a predetermined, well, you can't judge the authenticity of a leak based upon standards of leaks before, you know, or content before. So many people dismiss the Duck Hunt Dog leak because of, you know, little discrepancies that kind of didn't make sense with other things Sakurai had done in the past, but you can't use that as evidence. As we know right now, it looks very legit. Oh, fuck, it looks legit. <laughs> like, look at this fucking shit. Even the shading. Like I said, the hands could be different renders, the bodies could be different renders, but he has the same shading on the entirety of his body. Now, like I said as well, renders like this require work if you're a faker. They require a ton of work. So we only have five images. Being honest, actually, we only have um, one, two, three images. We have three images of this Rayman render. And for the most part, they all seem to be the same um, angle. <coughs> but 
the thing that'll confirm this is if we get gameplay. Now, if this leaker manages to upload some video footage of this, then that's it. There's nothing else that can be done. But, right now, as it stands, this is compelling. It raises an eyebrow. Like, it's got my interest. There were plenty of leaks that have happened over the last few months, but they've all been bullshit. The ones with Mewtwo and whatnot. But this one raises an eyebrow because it's so well done. Someone could have spent months doing this, but... I don't know, man. Like I said, summer of 2014. As much as people want to jump on the bandwagon and judge this as fake, I know 4chan, you dudes are, I know you dudes are already 100% throwing this in the trash, but then again, there's a lot of people who think the opposite. I'm not one of them. Right now, you guys can judge for yourselves, but I'm going to leave this one at a solid 50-50. I believe Rayman could very well be an inclusion in the game, and it makes sense for him to be, but with only these renders, I can't make a certified 100% judgment on it. They raise enough interest to have me believe it's possible, but they do not give me enough evidence to totally judge this. So therefore, like I said, I'm 50-50, and I would love to see more of these leaks in the future. Anyways, guys, what do you think about the leaks? Let me know in the comments. Did you notice any indiscrepancies yourself? I'll have all of these linked in the description, all these images, even this one. So, you know, if you want to see these and judge for yourself, you can definitely go to the description and do that. But I'll keep you guys updated on top of this. I already know a lot of you dudes are wondering, what's going on with the videos that go? Where are you? If you don't know, I'm moving to a new place. I found a new place, guys. I can't talk much about it right now, though. There's a lot I gotta still do. I'm still sick. Bear with me here. I apologize for not giving you the content on a regular basis, but trust me, once I move, it all begins. Take care of yourself, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.